It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. You know we had to talk about this new J. Cole record. Might delete later. That's one thing that's circulating, as we know. Um, he did put a video out. His entire vlog, Smack DVD inspired blog, where he's showing behind the scenes of him touring with Drake and going from city to city, different places, and engaging with the crowds, engaging with people, uh, trying out different food, etc. Talking to different people. But within different segments within this might delete later video, there's also instances of J. Cole sharing music, sharing studio sessions, sharing um, that he's getting back to beats, which he hasn't been doing for the last couple years or the last couple albums. He's been allowing other producers to uh, primarily handle that for him. Then we got this record towards the end called might delete later in some people's eyes and other people's eyes is called powered up according to genius that's the official name of it we still don't know if this is going on to fall off we're assuming that it is but we don't know nevertheless we're going to get right into it and we're going to break down some of these lyrics because you know that's what we do over here um y'all also know what we do over here it's called um we don't put goddamn uh copyrighted music on the channel, all right. So, y'all gonna get this a cappella, we're gonna get this breakdown, and we're gonna have a good night. You feel me? All right, bet. Let's get to the music then. Yeah, said I was finished, but I want another two summers. Hall of Famer hungry, yet and all the newcomers. Niggas swear they compare, but the truth humble. If you fuck 112, you couldn't do numbers. Uh. Hey, tell the label I got A's off the wild mad. That mean I'm keen on the numbers and I count fast. You know it's money that you owe me, niggas phony, and I'm why Queen Phoenix walk the line. I'm about cash. Uh, but hold on. So he's coming in, and for those of y'all that have not heard the beat, the beat is hard. It kind of reminds me of like a Drake Six God, if you're still reading this type beat, like a um, Drake 21 Savage type beat, you know what I'm saying? So he's kind of d diving into that space, that hemisphere, which we haven't really heard from him, really. I mean, he jumped on uh, Drake's last album, Big as the what? Big as the Super Bowl. Like that was one foray into like a harder 808 driven beat, but this is more so even than that one so he comes in opening the verse saying i'm powered up turn it all up i'm powered up like he's really ready to make a statement like you know what nigga with this fall off shit i'm really going all in so he comes in and says yeah said i was finished but i want another two summers hall of fame hungrier than all the newcomers so he's saying i'm a legend i don't gotta do this shit no more i could been retired but i'm hungrier than the niggas that's coming out today so you know i'm finna eat y'all ass up pause Says niggas swear they compare, but the truth humble. So it's like you can comp you say you can compare to me, but the truth is very humbling. Not a fucking chance. He says they could fuck one twelve. You couldn't do numbers, of course. One twelve, the 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 singing group for those of y'all that are old enough to remember them. If you was to smash on them, you still couldn't do numbers, right? Double entendre there. Um, one twelve, like I said, do numbers meaning. You couldn't smash on the number, but then also saying your music is performing horribly. So you still couldn't do numbers, even if you was fucking 112. OK, take that. Says that mean I'm the king. Uh, hold on. Hold on. A tether label like an A's all throughout math. So he, he says a <laughs> shot to the label. Hey, tell the label like got A's all throughout math. That mean I'm king of the numbers and I count fast. You know it's money that you owe me, niggas phoning, and I'm Joaquin Phoenix walk the line. I'm about cash. So apparently there's some money that he feels he's being owed, right? I don't think he's talking to Rock Nation because he ain't he's been charting his own path ever since uh shit, 2014 Forest Hills, if I'm not mistaken. Um but Dreamville did go on to do a deal with what? What is it? Interscope? Is, I think it's Interscope. Let me be all the way clear while I'm here. Because the shit matters. Yeah, they're distributed through Interscope Records. Cool. So he say, hey, I need some bread. I need, I, I don't know what y'all niggas tell me about. But y'all gonna need to deliver something that I'm looking for. 
expeditiously before I'm out this shit. Okay. And he says, and I'm Joaquin Phoenix, walk the line, I'm about cash. Okay, so in this line, Cole alludes to the 2005 movie, Walk the Line, that's played by, uh, you know, Johnny Johnny Cash film, played by Joaquin Phoenix. So he's saying, I'm walking the line about my cash, nigga, like Joaquin Phoenix. All right, keep it going. Women button getting younger as the hours pass. Should do the freshman cup of twice. I'm never outclassed. It's not a rap nigga breathing that could outlast. The fall off is like whole dropping reasonable doubt last. We Hold on. Benjamin Button getting younger as the hours pass. We all know the Benjamin Button syndrome. You age backwards. Says he should do the freshman cover twice because he's never outclassed. Basically saying, you niggas is trash. I already. He he did the freshman cover way back was was uh, one of the OGs of the freshman cover, but then you also got to think. Hold on, did he do the freshman cover? Was J Cole on the freshman cover? I thought he did one, but let me just try to refresh my memories. I think he declined doing it, didn't he? Oh, he was a 2010. Okay. 2010 freshman class with Nipsey. Hold on. Let me let me look at this. Well, where the fuck Cole at? Nipsey, Freddie Gibbs, J-Rock, Fashion, Donis, Wiz Khalifa, Pia, OJ the Jew Man. Okay. Okay, cool. So he say shit, man. It's 2024. I'm about to do that shit again because I'm not outclassed. I'm, a, I'm in a whole new tier. I'm in a whole new level. I'm feeling refreshed. I feel like a whole new nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all letting cold shit on y'all. This is why the rap game is in such a funny place because an artist like J. Cole, as great as he is, there should be a lot more artists that are able to compete in this lane. And there's just really like nobody. Right. Of course, you got the artists on his label. You got uh, Jid. You got Earth Gang. Um, Boss. He decides whether or not he wants to rap or do Afro beats music by the day. Kaz isn't really a lyricist, but he's decent. Um, Lute is dope. He makes nice music. But no. And then outside of that, it's kind of like you got the Kendrick, you got the Drake, you got uh, Corday whenever he wants to drop. Um, IDK is fire, Saba's fire, McJenkins is fire, but they're just not at that level where they could compete at that same J. Cole type conversation. So there's nobody filling those shoes when he leaves, if he leaves. It's fucked up. And that's why he gets to talk greasy to y'all niggas, so... So easily. Moving on. Oh, hold on. He said, it's not a rap nigga breathing that can outlast. The fall off is like whole dropping reasonable doubt last. So in Jay-Z's estimation or just in his personal opinion, reasonable doubt is his best material, is his best album. So with J. Cole reversing it and saying it's like whole dropping reasonable doubt last, he says, I'm finna drop my best album at the end of my career. Right? Fuck all the old shit. It's all about this new shit. I'm in my I'm, I'm finna hit 40 on you niggas and I'm finna drop the best music of my career on you motherfuckers. While y'all putting out subpar ass raps, subpar ass hooks, subpar ass beats. Let me show y'all niggas how to do this. In the south where we learn all about stash and when niggas prone to shoot first and run their mouth last and if you run your mouth bitch you going now sad whole click getting slid on you a mouse pad uh. i'm the one that niggas fear on the low ski heard them talking like we peers but they grossly mistaken and it's blatant i don't know what the fuck just happened to the goddamn audio but um he was getting ready to say um I'm the one that niggas fear on the low ski. Heard her talking like we peers, but they grossly mistaken. And it's blatant. Crocodile tears. Niggas know I'm on a tear that they don't see. My dogs only shed tears and emojis. So it's not, we don't do real tears. We don't do them dog ass tears. It's only in emojis. 
We in another hat. We in another hemisphere splitting proceeds. I dare nigga rub his hands on this trophy. I vividly remember who was there. So how dare you come rub your hands on this championship, nigga? You was not in the kitchen. You was not in the gym shooting up shots. You was not in the practice field with me, nigga. Don't touch this motherfucking trophy over here. Okay. And I vividly remember who was there. This is this is you ain't with me shooting in the gym shit. You know what I mean? Let's see if you come back oh, in. Tears and emojis. We in another hemisphere splitting proceeds. How dare nigga rub his hands on this trophy? I vividly remember who was there. Niggas hit my line when they want something. That's a dub. It ain't love if it costs something. Yeah. Niggas set my phone up when they need something. I can't recall a time when you gave me something. Yeah. Chopped off the top, nigga, I achieved something. Yeah. Drop down, bitch, let me see something. Yeah. Niggas set my phone up when they need something. I can't recall a time when you gave me something. Right. March 16 in the fucking team summit. Yeah. The boys can't train when they see the team coming. So at this point, he's going in and then it fades out. So that. Additional verse, we're not getting the complete version. We might get it on the album. So let's go back through this. Niggas hit my line when they want something. That's a dub. It ain't love if it costs something, okay? So, hey, leave me the fuck alone. Quit hitting my line. I ain't got nothing for you, niggas. You only come around when you want something from me. That's not love. We're not dealing with that, right? Niggas hit my phone up when they need something. I can't recall a time when you gave me something like shit. When does, the, when does the favor ever get returned? We need some reciprocation. I need some re reciprocity around this motherfucker, man. Hell. Comes in. Chopped off the top. Nigga, I achieved something. Drop down. Eh, let me see some. Like, shit, man. I'm feeling good. We dropped the top off this motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Let a nigga see some. Cold. I hit the club on your ass. Head. Drop down and let me see some. I can't recall a time when you gave me some, okay? Most 16s than the fucking Teen Summit. Now, if y'all don't remember Teen Summit from back in the day on BET, it was a show where they had the teenagers coming in and they were talking and trying to voice out their frustrations. And, you know, it was their version of like group therapy, talking about what they were going through and all that type of shit. But most of them were in the age ranges of, of course, probably 12 to 17 or something like that. You know what I mean? So most 16s in the fucking teen summit. But then, of course, in hip hop, the golden standard is the 16 bar verse. So he's saying, I got more 16s than niggas at the teen summit on that motherfucking bench. Right. Then he says, the boys kiss ring when they see the king coming. So when I come through, niggas start kissing the ring. Niggas start bowing down. They start clearing the path, letting letting the king come through. Y'all better stop playing with me. They know I run things like the police coming. Right? This ain't no play play. Y'all better treat me like y'all see law enforcement coming through this motherfucker. Clear the path. Y'all don't want no smoke because I got it if you need it. Right? And then it fades out. So, of course, everybody... Gonna be looking forward to the rest of this this song dropping. I thought it was interesting that he dropped this thing called Might Delete Later because as we all know, J. Cole is very elusive, very mysterious. He doesn't really partake in social media. But on social media, a popular style of post is like the Might Delete Later, which is something where you put something up. A lot of artists do this. They'll put a sample of a song up. Uh, women might put a sample of an outfit up. And get their little fits off in a, in a uh, carousel. And they might be like, I might delete later. But here, y'all could get it for now. But Cole don't be on social media. But he be knowing what the little trends are and what the little moves be. You know, which is one thing I don't really like about Cole. And that's not just him. But him, uh, Kendrick, even um, even even Hove. Like, they, they put on this mystique like they're like they too good or they're above the gram but then when they drop songs or certain things that they'll do you see how much they really be tuned in and it's like bro you could have been with us the whole fucking time having a good time man you ain't too good to party man god damn you know so i thought it was interesting that this video was called might delete later that the song was speculated to be might be might delete later but i think powered up we don't know what the fuck this song is called because powered up is just the intro so it could be something totally different, but 
Genghis believes it'll be on the fall off. We don't know what Cole's plans are, and there's really no way to speculate or put that on his badge. As of now, it's just a leaked record that he purposely leaked. And again, in the video, they showed him getting back to producing on beats, having sessions, falling back in love with the art of producing. Um, so perhaps J. Cole is producing the majority of the fall off himself rather than deferring to like T minus and certain people that he's been going with for the last few years. It's going to be very interesting. We don't know what the features are going to be on the album yet. Um, if there's going to be any features, cause he is infamous for going platinum without any, all of that has yet to be seen, but we do know the fall off is coming. He scripted it in the video. Uh, everything that they were doing was definitely around promotion of the fall off. So Hopefully more information is to come soon. Hopefully we get more music soon, an official single. Uh, but if you haven't already, it's, it's, it's available on YouTube to see the, uh, the nine minute clip in full, uh, might delete later and just see what J Cole and his, his folks are going through, how they hang out, how they have fun type of food. They like to eat different shit like that. Studio conversations. Always nice to see it. J. Cole has been documenting his process each time that, uh, that he has a project coming out for the last few albums. So uh, kind of keeping with the same trend, but also doing it in a different way, having a very fuzzy VHS style gradient on the video rather than it being like pristine, clean HD 4K. That's definitely a deliberate decision. Uh, Drake makes an appearance on there talking about the Smack DVD and all that type of stuff. So that's my assessment of it. Dope song. Dope beat, dope lyrics, and I uh, can't wait to hear the rest of it. That's all I can really say. Let me know what y'all think of all this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates, and I will see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace, y'all. King of my city and code sack. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. I was ready for years and they died of me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross them out, I came back with some battery. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing the stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble. I done came too far to be humble.